you're an artist who loves to experiment in your work, maybe you've already used plastic wrap to create really interesting textures, but maybe you want to get rid of single-use plastic out of your life, or you simply want to know what else you could use. Well, this week I'm going to have an experiment with things like tinfoil, tissue paper, wax paper, to see what sort of marks they give us and whether they're any good. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you a really gorgeous surface to work on and it's the one I used for the swan that's behind me and, and the peacock that's over the other shoulder. So if you enjoy what you see please think about subscribing because I do one of these videos each week. My name's Liz Chatterton, I'm a professional watercolour artist based in Berkshire and every week I do a tip trick or technique that I wish someone had told me when I started painting. So this week it's all about how to get really interesting marks in your painting. So in the last film I did, we looked at using plastic wrap to make really interesting marks and textures in our watercolour. But of course, not everyone wants to be using single-use plastic. So I promised to try and find something that, as an alternative. So this week I thought we would try plastic wrap just as a comparison, an ordinary plastic bag that can be wiped off used again, the inside of a cereal packet, baking paper, tissue paper and tin foil. If you stick around to the end I will also show you a way of preparing a surface for maybe an abstract landscape like this. Right let's crack on. First things first, plastic wrap. So dry paper, and whatever colours you want in a nice mixed wash or just a single colour wash you can do and then you lay the plastic wrap into it and move it around. If you haven't watched last week's film do have a look because we did all sorts with it but that's basically what you can do. This one we're going to do exactly the same. So mixed wash really doesn't matter what colours. Dry paper and this time I thought I would just use reusable plastic bag. It's actually from our food recycling and again just scrunch it up into the wash, move it around, it's a lot harder to see what's going on because it's thicker. I guess I could use a see-through bag, that would have certainly helped. And we'll put that to one side and see what that does. Now the next one, I have got the inside of a breakfast cereal packet. This is the, I don't even know what it is. Um, what you call it uh, but it's the packet that you get your cornflakes in and I thought that would be worth a try. This paper is actually brilliant if you ever need something that is non-stick so say you have glued a collage and you need to weight it down or I do some book binding and you need to weight down your, your glued pages this is non-stick you can put it on top and even if any of the glue seeps out brilliant stuff. So I reuse all, all my cereal packets um, because yes it's plastic but at least we are reusing rather than using sort of one-off. So let's put that mixed wash down and then lay this in. Now immediately you can see that it doesn't scrunch up in the way that our um, cling film did. You're going to have to work hard to get that to do anything I reckon. And it's a bit prone to lifting off so we could weight that down if we wanted to or we could leave it like that and see what happens. Next thing I thought about was just 
baking parchment, the sort of stuff that you use to line cake tins to stop them sticking. So I reckon we'll need to scrunch that. Why don't we? I've just suddenly had a thought. Do a half and half. Do a bit flat and a bit scrunched. And then we've got two, two possibles. So let's put our wash down. this one we'll do two possibles there we go so just different colors so in this one we'll just lay it flat not overly hopeful about that and this one will scrunch it now the immediate problem you can see is that it lifts off the surface so I'm going to have to weight that down with something flat. Look, I've got a bottle of ink. And we'll have to leave it to dry like that. Next, tissue paper. And when I say tissue paper, I don't mean toilet paper. <laughs> I mean the sort of paper that you use to wrap presents. I would suggest white because quite a lot of the coloured papers, the colour will actually bleed out of it. And again, let's make a nice variegated wash. And we know that obviously the darker the colour we put on, the more anything will show up. So let's scrunch that up and place it in the wash. I'm very hopeful of this one because you can see that it's actually sticking unlike the the plastic that sort of leapt up so I think that might be quite interesting. Final thing I came up with as you can see I've been going through my uh, kitchen cupboards is tin foil just the aluminium foil. I've got tin foil I think again that a scrunch would be sensible. Actually, why don't we see? You know, last week we stretched the um, plastic wrap into to lines to get interesting marks. I wonder what happens if we stretch that into a line. I'm going to weight that down and let it dry. Now, all of those are going to take quite a while to dry, so we'll have to wait maybe an hour and then come back. Everything's had about half an hour to dry and let's see what the big reveal is. So this is the plastic wrap that we are used to using but we want to find an alternative to. This was our baking paper and if you remember we put some on flat. Oh. Now that's rather interesting and then we scrunched some and weighted it down. So we haven't got the fine sharp marks that we got with the plastic wrap. They're quite a lot softer but actually particularly just lying it in flat gives us some very round organic marks and I can imagine if I was painting say pebbles on the bottom of a stream or something that could be really good and though these marks are not again half as fine as the plastic wrap marks still quite interesting. So the next one to look at was that cereal packet the inside of it and we just laid that down flat. Now that actually has given us far sharper lines than say the baking paper but not as fine. The next thing to look at was just the standard plastic bag. Let's peel that off. Yes, I mean that is very close to the plastic wrap. The thing is this is so much stronger that you could just wipe it off, save it and reuse it. 
So though it is plastic, at least it can be reused, whereas realistically you are never going to save bits of plastic wrap. This was the tin foil, which I have to say I'm not hopeful of. And that frankly is really quite disappointing. And then finally we have our tissue paper and this is the one that I am hopeful of. Hmm. I have to take that off quite carefully. It's quite firmly stuck and I think if you were using a paint that's got a lot of binder in it you might have to be careful. Now that is a lovely texture and it's probably quite fine but it hasn't got the geometric properties of the plastic wrap. So my conclusion then is obviously the plastic wrap lovely. The plastic bag is a great alternative particularly if you used a see-through one so you could see what you were doing at least you could reuse that. The cereal packet was interesting but not as fine but there's certainly some possibilities there. That baking paper, if you lay it in flat, I think certainly gives you some very interesting marks you could use. Tin foil, frankly, I wouldn't bother with. And then the tissue paper, I think, gives a lovely softer mark. And the other good thing is that it actually dries a bit quicker than the plastic wrap because it actually absorbs some of the moisture. So I would say reject tin foil and if I were you I would raid your kitchen cabinets to see what you can find but sadly I haven't found the perfect answer for replacing plastic wrap. I promised you a little bonus. In the process of researching this film I applied and stuck down tissue paper onto watercolour paper and then painted on top of it and it produces the most interesting texture which is just perfect for landscapes I reckon and I'll also show you my swan which I have painted on this surface in a slightly different way. You just need a piece of watercolour paper, it can be any weight, I mean this is quite thick because it's just a scrap, and then you need some PVA glue. You also need white tissue paper. Carefully apply the PVA glue to the watercolour paper, not the tissue paper because the tissue paper will simply fall to pieces. And you want to be pretty generous. Then we have our tissue paper which hopefully is slightly bigger than the paper. We can scrunch it up and just sort of lie it down, not totally flatten it out because it's these creases that give us our beautiful texture. And now we can stick that down. If you want to flatten it out a bit more you could always use a little roller to stick it down but that will get rid if you press hard quite a lot of that texture will go so maybe use a lightish pressure. Now let that dry and you can paint straight on top of it. If you do this onto say a canvas or even like a old piece of mount board you can stick it down and then coat it with watercolour ground let that dry and then paint on top but if you've done this onto watercolour paper there's no need for that watercolour ground. I thought we'd just have a quick look at this swan a bit closer up to see how that tissue paper has produced a beautiful surface to work on now this one I applied the tissue paper and then put watercolour ground on top so a little bit different from how I'm showing you but this is a canvas so that's why you need the watercolour ground 
and it produced lovely ripples that I felt sort of echoed the, the river that this, this bird's living on. So here's a piece that I of watercolour paper that I've stuck some tissue on top of and once it's dry it's very easy just to tear off the excess. Oh, I haven't stuck that very well have I? So why don't we just see what we can turn it into? A few simple washes in a few bluebell colours and then the background woods. A little printing with an, a scrap of watercolour paper to put in the trees and you've got a pretty immediate bluebell picture. Look at that texture, it's just gorgeous. Have lots of fun experimenting, I hope you've enjoyed this.